Good evening, guys. This is uh, Pete from Gamers Paradise. Um, I got another uh, GameStop Inc. video and survey video, whatever you want to call them. I'm just doing an intro right now because um, when I get to gameplay, it may or may not work. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with my settings or setup, I'm looking to get a capture card. Uh, right now, that hasn't happened yet. Hopefully, sometime in the middle of this month, I'll be able to. Or I mean, the month of August. Um, I got a whole bunch of games in that little uh, string. So, the first video they want me to do... There's... Is that better? A little... No. Speaking of lighting, excuse me, guys. Um, anyways, um, the first video is um, going to be on God Eater 3. It's a T-rated game. Um, yeah, there we go. And um, basically, it's crossed between an anime and Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is all right. Um, Monster Hunter was a big and vast world, and if you were not familiar with the series, it is really hard as a beginner to get into. That that's one of the things a lot of people have had against Monster Hunter is they're new and they didn't know where to go, or what to do, and they were really always dying. So, and I've I, can identify with that. Um, excuse me. Another thing I'll deal with after the video. But it was a... Um, anyways, um, Monster Hunter, it, for those who like it, it's fun. If you don't like it, that eh, more... I hate to tell... Eh, you know. <laughs> One of those things. <laughs> But, um, I played a little bit of, um, Monster God Eater 3, and it's a different game. I was able to get into it, and it seems so far to have a bunch of missions to ease you into the gameplay, as opposed to the, uh, what's going on. Well, the screen is reflecting on my glasses. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, I got into play it for a little bit. I don't think I did it right, so I'm going to redo it. Um, I'm, like I said, this is an intro, and I'm going to pause, and we're going to get into the game. Um, so the next time the camera is uh, showing, it will be, um, with gameplay. Alright, we're back. Sorry, guys. Just uh, got back. Um, it's, this is probably going to be seamless to you, but we're going to uh, get into God Eater 3 uh, gameplay for you guys. Um, let's see here. It's loading. <laughs> but it's a relatively fun game. Bandai Namco. Um, and uh, you can create your own character. Um, I created a female. One of uh, the things I like to do with these games is if I can create a, a character, I often create female characters because I'm quite tired of staring at you know, guy characters. There's more than enough games with, with guy characters. There's, there's not enough games with female characters. So I like to change up the thing. And no, just for those SJWs out there, this is not, I say again, this is not because of the politically correct woke agenda bullcrap. This is my own volition this is my own decision and I, quite frankly i've been doing this long 
before that became a thing. So, don't even comment that. It'll be promptly ignored, and if it's aggressive, it will be report reported. But, enough of that. And it's talking about an the intro, and it's end of the world. I can't. Okay. I guess it wants you to, uh... Let's go... To... Here we go. Now let's see if I can... There we go! <laughs> Excuse me. Going to load uh, my game. I just started playing it. I created the character name Heroria. Thought it was a good name. And, uh... Check it out. Load, load and complete. There we go. And, uh... I, I think it's a really... There we go. And you're chained up until you do your missions and stuff. And uh, let's go on the computer. The monitor. Uh, density, sort of interpersonal, new satisfaction. Okay, good. Now. Let's do standard missions. That that first thing I did was just to to check um, on uh, just to get you familiar with things, so it didn't really officially count. That 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 makes me feel a little bit better. Rank one, uh, extra episode. Then there's this, and then there's certification missions, and that's probably to level your character up. I'm learning as I go. Um, like I said before, I like keeping my uh, videos organic as possible and uh, naturalistic as possible. Like, fresh for you guys. Like, not one of those, I played this game 15 or plus hours in the background before recording it. No, I I, 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 uh, I have so many games I've, I've been playing. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, on top of that, I bought a whole bunch of games to try out and play and have fun with and quite frankly uh i i'm giving uh, marvel ultimate alliance 3 a break uh too much of a good thing is a thing um and uh, i'm just testing out my other games uh i've been uh, getting back into pokemon tournament uh just because i want to play a pokemon game on the switch that i mean isn't let's go even pikachu i love those games don't get me wrong but i i've really mostly did it, um, because I like playing other Pokemon characters, I like, I like the Pokemon tournament, I like fighting games, and, uh, Pokemon, or Pokemon fits very well with a fighting genre, I'm surprised there hasn't been a Pokemon 2 yet, or anything like that, that is kind of, you know, surprising, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, you can control the camera screen with the right analog stick. Uh, my character is red hair. You can move it up and down, the camera up and down. She has a cape, I guess. Um, it's it's really um, easy. To, like I said, in, it's easy to get into. It's it's you don't feel intimidated like in Monster Hunter. I feel very intimidated because I need to understand fully. Wikipedia's worth of the characters that I've gotten, you know, uh, that or the story and why you're doing what you're doing. Where this, they do explain it. I, I, I um, did start a new thing, and it's basically saying that along the line, this is a post-apocalyptic setting, and demons are roaming free, and you are. To my understanding, you were injected with 
a part of the spirit of it, a lesser demon to have enough power to hunt down and destroy these beasts. So, um, it, it, it's, there's a story there. It's not convoluted. It's, I prefer to focus on the gameplay and the game myself as opposed to the storyline. It may hinder your experience. It may not. For me personally, I, I prefer to get into the game to play. It reminds me of those apps. Uh, there's plenty of RTS apps. And I get comment, uh, people comment on the thing, well, why aren't you talking? He's like, ah, because I prefer to actually play the game. Talking on the chat line hinders my desire to play the game. It is why I play games is to play a game. I, I don't want to talk. And so I can understand why Nintendo doesn't want to use voice chat on the Switch. They, they want you to either, A, use Skype, which is a lot easier than their stupid voice chat app. Nintendo, we, we all love you dearly. We, we are greatest fans for over 20 years, but uh, your technological uh, ignorance is, is uh, probably eventually going to be your downfall. But if we, other than that, um, I want to get to playing my game, like I said. I really like the cell shading in this. It's really beautiful. And it, as you can hear, it's Japanese and it's giving you subtitles. And you can go in. And you can go in, go down. It's a really good game. And, oh. Look down here. I'm exploring. I'm yes. I'm moving. I, I got that. I'm moving. Okay. I think since I didn't save after my be fighting, I, I didn't do something right, and I wasn't satisfied with doing it anyway. So I didn't want to look rustle around for for saving. Because I, I felt I, I, I didn't do something right and I wanted to redo it anyways. So I'm glad I'm getting a chance to redo it. And there, there's shiny things you can pick up and, and find the stuff for, I, I can only imagine, uh, crafting weaponry and armor and what have you. you like I said, we're, we're in a very post-apocalyptic world, futuristic world, uh, probably not even based on any reality. DR plus B. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yes, this is a boring part. Sorry, guys. Apps, I should have saved after all. You have to go to the right spot and find the right things. There we go. Found something. X wire attack. There you go. See that? X wire and attack, guys. There we go. You're gonna revive yourself. Yeah, just like in uh R change forms, okay. There's another one. Close to change form. Ah. Cool. I got a big old gun. <laughs> It's all right, and I'm sure there's gonna be more show up. There we go. What's happening, Mr. Big Thing? Definitely a kaibashi game. Kaibashi! Oh, that happened. All right. Mission objectives are complete. So this is another training mission. I would imagine that the game really picks up after it's just a mission two or three or something of that nature. But it's really a fun game. I, I, like I said, I feel like I'm growing with the, the series. and I'm, I have an idea of what I want to get into. I would imagine playing this game first would better familiarize yourself with playing Monster Hunter Generations, I believe, for the Switch. Capcom is being Capcom. Someone called them Crapcom. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, override this. Yes, override the save data. It's been saved. All right. And I got a lot of materials, so I can probably uh, eventually start crafting my uh, weaponry and everything. Um, I don't give score systems on games, but it's I, I really enjoyed it. I thought they did a good job. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope the story progresses so I'm out of handcuffs. It's a basic action RPG, which is kind of what I like doing the most of. But pretty much after this year, um, I'm going to be not only a gaming hermit, I'm going to be pretty much all social media... And all movie hermit. Because everything's changing with, with the, the the stupid politically correct agenda that hasn't been in, put in check for the past twenty plus years, and it's changing to the point of a woke agenda and totally disheveling any form of media. 
it, it's, it's it's really really getting bad. He's like, I I think the the hermits and the 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 wise old men on the mountains were right. I, ignore society because society is literally going to kill itself and find it okay. We're right now in a world where the purge may never happen. But then again, sometime in the future, something like that could happen because of how social justice warriors are, are thinking and trying to curve everything. And it's, it's really becoming dangerous. So, you know, kind of like Christianity. Uh, eventually, uh, you have to have churches underground. No, not under the ground, but in secrecy. And it's it's becoming noticeable. It, it's the thing, and it's not a good thing. It's really one of those head scratchers, and you wonder what's going on and why. And it's like, um, you know, so, yeah. Save game. It's local play and online play. I'm not going to play online. And progressing the story. It's going to be my next teammate. Whatever. He's going to be guys. He's going to be guys. Performance test. Certification cleared. Shield test revised. Fine, fine. I'll take this little punk. But like I said, guys, um, you know we're we're living in a very dangerous time with a very racist president, and um, I may be a Republican, but. I would expect my leader to be professional and courteous as well. Because right now he's giving America a very bad name. And the worst part than having a leader that doesn't care about anybody but himself is a government in Congress that otherwise doesn't care or is too lazy to care or is too focused on 
other things to care. It just I see him and Obama both doing worse things than what Nixon has ever done and America didn't care to do anything. They're just sitting around. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not really into social media because you know, the Bible is right. Even a fool is thought wise when their mouths are shut. When his mouth is shut. Alright, so that's a test to, to build my character up. Um, instead of going on a tangent that you don't need to hear about, um, I am going to get out of this game. Um, and while I'm still here, I'm going to look at another game. And you guys don't need to be in that part. So, uh, you guys have a wonderful evening. Talk to you later.